A system of three equations and their graphs in the xy plane are shown above. How many solutions does the system have? So we have these three equations, we've got these graphs, and we want to know how many solutions the system has. So what is a solution of a system? A solution of a system of equations, whether it's two or three, are those points, those xy values that satisfy all three equations at the same time. So what does that mean graphically? It means points that where all three curves intersect, right? So for example, this point right here, this looks like it's like negative one, negative two, approximately. And we could check if we wanted to by plugging in, but we don't have to. This point, negative one, negative two, satisfies each of these equations. So therefore, it's a solution of all three, and it's a solution of the system. Are there any other points where all three curves intersect? Yes, there's one right here. And that, so that would be another solution. But that's it. So this right here is a point where two of the equations are solved, but not three. Here's another point where two are solved, not three. So the only ones that work here are those two. So the answer to this one is going to be B. This question is both, I think, easier than the type of systems equations questions you'd find on the old SAT, but also harder. It's easier because there's really no math here. You don't have to do any computation. You just got to look at the picture. And if you know how systems of equations work, you're good to go. It's a pretty straightforward question. I think the challenge in it lies, first, that there's three equations. On the old SAT, we never saw three equations at once. But also in just understanding what a system of equations represents graphically. That's not trivial. But if you... You know, pay attention to math class if, you go, if you've gone over this topic before and you understand it. It's not that hard of a question. So it's kind of an either-or situation. Either you know it or you don't. Uh, so yeah, this one overall, not that much of a stretch beyond what they've done in the old SAT. And pretty familiar, I think, to most of you who've done this kind of stuff in math class.